Underground coal mining is the most dangerous industry in the world. When workers go down a coal mine, they know that there's a chance, with it, however slim it is, that they won't be coming out at the end of the day. There's always that risk. And that gives a sense of solidarity, a sense of uh, togetherness, a sense of concern for each other, and also a toughness. Miners at Nimboida in 1975 reached the end of their shift. Around them, the remote, rugged country which they love. Nimboida was the most primitive and brutal coal mine in Australia. Together, the men staged a stubborn worker rebellion. They were tested by doubt and disaster, and they rewrote the industrial rules for miners around the world. Because it had never been done before, there was, there was nothing that we could gain from any other mining operation in Australia. This was quite unique and probably unique in the world. It wasn't until later that we were told that we were the first coal miners to take over a coal mine. We couldn't take that in, I guess. It was a big thing to take in, I think, at the time. What did happen? A hell of a thing to take on, like to sort of take over the mine and say they weren't going to, they weren't taking the sack and that was it. It's not always management that says that you're going to shut down. You can refuse to take the sack. As a, a, a miner, as an official, as the chairman of the trust, what would you like people to take from this particular story? Well, I'd like them to see the the the, the tenacity of the men and women of Nimboida and appreciate uh, how difficult it was for them to do what they did, how remarkable uh, it was what they achieved, and that uh, against all odds you can in fact make a difference in this world if you're prepared to uh, work with your mates and, and work with your community and in this funny little case work with your union and vice versa. Things can be done, things can be achieved, and they're good things that can be achieved. It's not all about a big pay packet. Uh, it's, it's about your community, uh, it's about your makes at work, and it's about, to, it's about your family. And if there's a lesson out of it in Boyder, I hope it's that lesson, because I think that's a good story. I would be saying that this story is, a, is an example of of one, what can be achieved by ordinary people. Um, but number two, on a much broader front, it's an example that history is to be found everywhere. That history, history at its best is a flesh and blood history, is this stripped to the waist history. Uh, history is not about, as I was taught, a list of names uh, and a list of dates. History is something that, that, is, that is around us and is living. History is not entirely about the past. History is about understanding today through the, through the efforts of people in the past. And by understanding today, uh, it's possible to begin to understand what might happen tomorrow. <laughs>